Good afternoon, Viva MK. Thank you for joining me at midday, 18th of December, uh, 2020, and what a year it's been. So, here we are, Christmas, the things that we have been through. So, at one o'clock today, you will get the full PDF of the biggest catalog production we have ever uh, produced and that's at one o'clock today um, an outstanding catalog over a hundred new products packed full of the things that you and your customers want so a fantastic launch uh, into 2021 and like I keep bleating on about we have been planning 2021 since the summer it's not the only thing happening um, as we go into 2021 and what I really want you to do because we're working all the way through and why shouldn't we because we love what we do um, is to keep your eye on updates between now and the end of the year because there's a lot of things happening in the business that uh, we need to tell you about. So keep an eye on your emails and of course, social media. But of course, back to today, uh, the biggest thing about today is the course, spring, summer 2021, um, which you'll see at one o'clock by email and on social media, of course, on our group. Um, and you will be able to buy that, put an order in for that, from Christmas Eve onwards. And delivery of those catalogs will commence on the 4th of January. So many of you will have that catalog in your hands if you order it early enough, of course, on the 5th of January. What a fantastic start um, to 2021. But like I keep saying, it's one of many things happening as we go into next year. And we'll reveal some of those before this year is over. So do keep your eye on all your emails and all social media. There is a big plan, but let me just reflect on where we have been over this year. And as you already know, periods 10, 11 and 12, um, the 12 weeks of that period in time has had staggering growth for us. And when we measure growth, yes, we can measure it with turnover. Yes, we can measure it with um, uh, the, the, the money revenue side of things. But more importantly, bigger than that is engagement. The amount of people that have engaged in the business has been greater than we've had before. Um, and not only that, number of singular units sold has exceeded all expectations and forecasts, which means today there are more Viva MK products or originated through our catalogs in households than there has ever been since we started over two years ago. And as you know, the second version of the business only started on the 31st of August, 2019. And in that 12 week period that I've just told you about, year to date, there was an increase of something ridiculous like 100%. We almost doubled the business year on year. Um, and of course, the numbers for next year, uh, for those of you who are that excited about numbers, you know, we have a robust plan for next year that will see that projection grow again. It's not always easy to have 100% growth every year. I think that was expected this year after what we've been through. And of course, the, the, the slower start last year when we only had a couple of catalogs of, of which we were only 22 pages each, I do believe. Um, so next year, you know, we're looking at a 30 to 40% increase year on year. So again, substantial numbers. But, you know, the most important thing is, you know, we're an independent company with distributors at its heart. And don't ever forget that because, you know, we all know there is an entire raft of companies out there that want you, that want your attention, that want you for their purposes. Um, of course they do, why wouldn't they? You're a valuable asset to any organization, no matter who they are, you as distributors, every single one of you is a valuable asset to any company. The difference with ours, just in case you're not aware, is that we are completely independent. We're not ruled by boards. We don't have any corporate stiffs, nothing stiff around here. Um, you know, we are a flexible, independent company that works truly 
with distributors at its heart. You know, you'll see even a reflection of that in spring summer 2021, where there's product choices because not only because you've recommended them, but um, you've suggested them, but there's so many other things that you'll hear about that are truly down to what you have done and what you have told us and how you've worked with us. Now, to my knowledge, there is no other company that works that way. They can't work that way. We couldn't work that way when we were clean easy. It just can't be done because you have the corporate side and then you have the network and it will always be that them and us. What we've tried to do here is break down that barrier and create more of a partnership. I've said this to you right from the beginning. What I want is a partnership where people are valued. I don't want you just as an asset or a great distributor. I want you to be part of the organization. And that, in my humble opinion, is a massive difference between us and the plethora of people and businesses out there. I don't know anybody else that can work like us. They may say they do, but they can't. You know that you can contact me 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you know we'll take your calls and your emails, and we will listen to what you've got to say, because we can work like that. Corporate organizations cannot work like that. Like I said to you, even Clean Easy couldn't work like that. What essentially we were, and what we still are was a group of friends that just got together to create a business. And that's basically what we are. Um, and that again is a fundamental difference between us and anyone else. Look, I don't need to tell you the differences between us. Frankly, I don't care about anybody else because I don't feel we have any competition for the reasons I've given you, because it's incomparable. We can't be compared to other businesses because we work, we feel, and we evolve very differently to anybody else out there. So I don't compare, no, and I don't believe there's any competition because there's no organization which is just a group of friends now, a, a group of friends may have just gone together and joined a company, but they won't be friends with the corporate side of the business. This is the difference where we can say we're all partners, where we can say that we try and value every single individual in the organization. Now, SS21 is at uh, one o'clock and hopefully by then I'll stop bleating on about stuff. 64 pages packed full of products and you've seen some of those as the uh, scamps that head office have let some of the pictures out, of course, beyond um, me even knowing in some cases. Um, now, you know, let me talk about commissions quickly because people talk often about commissions. Most companies in our genre, not that we're comparable, but you need to know this because everybody needs a benchmark. There isn't a company generally that pays more commission than any other. It's a fallacy. It's absolute. I was nearly going to swear then, it's an absolute fallacy because most companies pay out the same amount. It's a volume driven industry. So the more you sell, the more you earn. Now, where some companies may seem like they're paying more is because they're having more driven volume, not because as a percentage they pay out more. No company in our genre pays out more than a certain percentage and all of them are give or take a percent or two about the same and ours is no different. Our percentage is exactly what Cleanies is used to be because I based the plan on the Cleanies plan when I wrote this plan. So don't ever be fooled by that because there's a lot of fallacy that goes around with people talking about how big they are and how powerful they are, but it's all a fallacy. You know, at the end of the day, it's how you feel in an organization. To me, that's the most important thing. And we're determined to carry that on into 2021 with everything we've learned in 2020. And boy, oh boy, what a, what a long and winding road this year has been for obvious reasons that have affected all of us, the world, the country, the nation, each individual. Um, to the econ economy of the country. Uh, on, in the face of that, yes, we've had an extraordinary 12 weeks. Uh, I personally could not have wanted more. I know many people say, oh yeah, but we'd love to have more. But no, no, I think what we achieved 
which was way above forecast, way above any anticipation, has been fantastic. And next year, yes, we'll strive for more. Um, there is a quite a robust thing uh, planned for next year. One of part of that plan is Viva MK Health. Thank you for all the people that volunteered for the free trial. Um, over a hundred of you um, clearly want to lose weight um, and try that product. And many of you ask why it's done in this way. Well, I don't want to sell a single product from that range until people have tried it. They feel comfortable with it. The best way to sell a product is to say you've used it and it worked for you. And that is such a great marketing coup. Imagine if we got the 60 or 50 or 60 volunteers that I wanted, I think it's gone to 75 now out of the 100 that I wanted, all using the product at the same time and talking about it. What a fantastic marketing coup. So Viva MK Health is something that's going to grow massively next year. Uh, we'll increase the portfolio of products. We'll look at different ideas and products, um, maybe some keto ranges, but things that will complement what we already have. So we're just waiting for the finalized product to come in. Another little casualty of the pandemic where some of the raw ingredients were difficult to get hold of. As you know, it's a vegan product. It's a top end product. Um, and you know what? I haven't even priced it yet. Because for me, the most important thing was to get people that I call our partners to be a part of it. And the only way to be a part of it was to go and use it. So um, we're expecting it to arrive next week into the warehouse. And then I'll let you know how to choose your flavor and how and when we will get that out to you. So that's the big thing of next year. Um, one other thing I want to do at some point next year is launch some bigger incentives. Why? Because I think we value people and I think we can do that. You know, we, we do lots of small incentives and we'll carry on doing those. And I've got some incentive winners for you in a minute. But I think we also have an opening to do some maybe travel-based incentives. You know, I've always been a fan of those, you know, um, some luxurious destinations. There's no reason why 2021 won't see our first destination. So like I said, there's just so much happening, so much we've been planning for. And you know, it's strange because when it comes to destination, then we will make it a phenomenal one. I kid you not. That plan formulated itself in my mind even before we opened this company. And I used to think to myself, It'll be 2021 or 2022, um, but that's how far you have to plan these things. And I know I've discussed these things with many of you before, um, and it's like some of the plans you'll see um, coming about over the next uh, couple of days, next, next few days before this year ends. Some of the things that you will see have been in the pipeline even before we open this company and that it, because you have to plan and visualize that far ahead um, and one of the things that you will see before the end of this year before the end of this year is something that I've wanted to do I, I can't even tell you how long it's been that I've wanted to do it and like I said to an email earlier this week absolutely everything we do has to have distributors at its heart. You know, at some point, I'm even going to take that word distributors away. I don't think it, it tells a story of what people really are in this business. You're not just distributors. The staff that I work with are just not just staff. Everybody involved in this business is a special person. So, you know, I don't see you as distributors. This isn't a distributor network. This is a partnership network. And that's how I want to build it as we go into next year. So we'll come back to all that in a minute. Um, we did have some incentives. It's for any value order placed in 13th and the 16th of December would win, uh, could choose one of these five prizes. Uh, and the prizes are looking very suspiciously like what the staff want. Very suspicious as they chose the prizes. So one year's free subscription of Netflix. Hmm. One year free subscription of Disney Plus. A hotel chocolate hamper. 
a luxury cheese and wine hamper, and £100 to spend across the Viva MK range. Suspiciously, very much like the things that the staff often ask for or want. Anyway, those are the prizes, and the five winners that I'll pick out my big black box in a moment, which has got loads of people in it, um, will choose one of those. So if you just let distributor services know that you're what, what you want, um, and then they will sort that out for you. So here's my big black box. It had to be a bigger version of the smaller black box because there's so many people in it, so many entrants in it, as you can see, it's full of people. I won't look because some of the names are visible. So we'll pick out five winners from here. And these, you've got multiple tickets in the drawer, of course, um, if you put more than one order in. So five people will be able to choose one of those five prizes. And the first one is, is a young lady called Angela Britton. Congratulations to you, Angela. Um, if you just let distributor services know which one of those five prizes suspiciously, suspiciously chosen by the HQ staff that you want. Um, so um, the next one, and I'll dig a bit deeper to get that one, is uh, Mr. Julian West. Congratulations to you, Julian. I really appreciate everything you're doing in the business. Um, number three, uh, here we go. Number three is Andrew Herbert and Sally Forrester. I've managed to cut off Sally's surname there. So congratulations to you. <laughs> Oh dear, I love drawers. I've never been that good at recognition for those that you know me well enough. There's always been challenges in all the years I've done it. Um, Graham Stewart Ball is number four. Isn't it just fantastic to pull out names from a drawer that there's nothing wrong with people who win the prizes, but sometimes names of new people who are recently engaged in the business, it's always fantastic. So our fifth one is Alan and Anne Pleasant. Congratulations to you. And you know what? I'm feeling generous today, so I'm gonna do a number six. <laughs> Why not? It is Christmas after all. So um, let's do a number a sixth one. And it is Julie Pemberton. Congratulations to you. Um, choose one of those five uh, one of those five prizes. So that's today's big black box draw. Uh, thank you for everybody that put in orders and thank you for all that you have done. You see, the business isn't just about sales or incentives. It's about the support you give to each other. You know, almost every jigsaw piece of this business is exactly what I used to dream about that a business should be but was never able to do because of the corporate structures of organizations that you can't do. You know, in all the businesses I know, you can't have this kind of engagement where we talk to people, where we get ideas from people, where we go forward with plans from people. And let me leave you with, and I shouldn't really be telling you this because it's really one for next, year but i'm going to tell you now anyway um because i can <laughs> simple as that i can um so we get lots of product suggestions and this is quite a funny one this is one of my stories of the year um we get lots of product suggestions and we try and work on all of them but the list is huge the list of product suggestions is massive again being an independent company it means we can take your suggestions and we can try and formulate them create them source them get them put them together and get them out there and you've seen that happen with the aptly titled hob job um the viva mk sparkle you've seen that with pink polish you've seen that with their own a very, very powerful spider deterrent called Spiderway. Um, so you've seen that in products and the things we do. Well, there's one distributor that has pestered me for a product for months and months and months. Before he even opens his mouth, I know what he's going to say. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. We, we can't always go and get every single product because some may not have wide market appeal. 
So he's pestered me and pestered me and pestered me in every conversation we have, every Zoom, every communication, he talks about his product. Um, so we went and did some research on that product to see what the market viability was because we have to work out how many of a unit we will sell before we invest money in creating the product. So Arthur Grimmer, you'll be delighted to know there will be an antrepellant coming sometime in January, might be towards the end of January, but we are creating our own ant repellent because you would not stop mentioning ant repellent. And just to get you back for constantly telling me that we should have an ant repellent for which we had to go and do the research, we had to find manufacturers, we had to find all the constituents of it, we had to do masses of research for your one customer who wants an ant repellent. But our research said others want it too. And to get you back, and this is the funny thing about being an independent company, you're not going to believe what our ant repellent is going to be called. Yes, you guessed it, Arthur's Ants. <laughs> See, it makes me laugh. And it makes me laugh, not because, just because it's a quirky name, but because we can do that. I'd love to see one of the other companies name a product after one of their distributors. So it's absolutely fantastic that we are going to have a product called Arthur's Ants, and that'll teach you for pestering me. So next time you guys pester me about product, be careful because your name might just end up on that product. And it's not just any old uh, ant repellent. It will be a phenomenal one. Um, the amount of research we've done, the amount of money we've put into it to get that product out to market. It'll be Viva MK branded um, and it won't harm ants. No, we sure Arthur wouldn't want to harm ants. Uh, it will just be a deterrent to them. Like the spider way, it just keeps them away. So it won't harm them. So thank you, Arthur. Arthur's Ants is coming out in January. And just a, a, a story that kind of sums up our business, not Arthur and his ants, but the fact that in this unique partnership, we can do something like that that there was one customer or two customers of Arthur's that wanted this product. And when I'm talking back in March and April, that we can take that, do the research, create a product, manufacture it from scratch, have our name on it, and even put the name of the distributor on it, <laughs> because it sounds quirky. What a wonderful position to be with that we, all of us, can work in that way. And now you know, of course, after that, so many variations of your names are going through my mind of the kind of products <laughs> that we can create. It could be an entire genre of products dedicated to people. Arthur Grimmer, your name will go down in history. Ants all across the world will know thanks to you and your name on that bottle that they're now deterred from being where they be. You will have an army of ants turning up at your house, so you better buy loads of it, Mr. Grimmer. Anyway, everybody, it's been fantastic talking to you. There's so much to look forward to. Watch all your emails between now and the end of the year. I, I do hope you like um, SS21, which is coming out at one o'clock, ready to you, for you to buy from next Thursday. We've ordered thousands and thousands of them. Um, and to date, our greatest publication, our greatest selection of products, and each and every one of them set to sell. Um, so I guess all that remains to be said is thank you to all the team at HQ that helped put the catalogue together, but generally carry the business from day in, day out, and have the same ethos behind the programme as I do. We will only ever employ people that have that same ethos, that see the power of people, and not as distributors, but as of a partnership. And then thank you to each and every one of you. Do you know, it doesn't matter one jot whether you sold one item or you sold a thousand. Collectively, we've had this phenomenal amount of growth 
phenomenal amount of sales, but more importantly, a phenomenal amount of engagement. An engagement that I could only have dreamt about and for many, many years did dream about. Remember, we're an independent company with distributors at its heart. No corporate stiffs. It's just you and us at HQ and that's it. Um, without sounding like a song, everything we do, we do it for you. Even if it means creating a product called Arthur's Ants. Anyway, have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for absolutely everything and making, you know, even the dark days um, seem bright. And that only happens because people like us are stronger together. I love the way you support each other. Love the way you support us. We've gradually creating the kind of company we always wanted to have and always wanted to be in. So here's to an amazing Christmas, regardless of the kind of year the world has had, and a phenomenal 2021. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas to you. Take care, bye.